Hello. This video is my idea difference between defining your personality and being different. Because the, the teenagers and whatnot tend to interchange them and it's, it's not something that can be interchanged very well because they're actually separate topics. So, I understand that when you're in high school, you want to make yourself very, you want to make yourself you. You're defining yourself. But when I would substitute six years ago in high schools, you know, I was even hearing back then that it was cool to be different. You know, I touched upon this in an earlier blog video, and it's just like, just because you're wearing red fubu shoes and all your friends are wearing blue fubu shoes doesn't mean that you're not wearing fubu shoes and there's the idea of like hipsters and stuff and they want to be completely defined they want to be defined they do not want to be different either that or they really do want to be different and they have no idea what they're getting into because I have Asperger's Syndrome, which is on the autism spectrum disorder, ASD, yeah, and which is an autism spectrum disorder. Anyway, so my brain was immediately wired differently, starting from birth, whenever you define that as, the beginning of life, whenever you define that as. I was born different. And trying to best assimilate into this society while being so drastically different is not something I would ever really wish upon anyone. It's not what should be I don't know why people want to strive to be different. You don't want to be different. Humans are social creatures by nature. You know, we form communities. You do not want to be different because when because it's innate. When something is different, we put we push it out. We get rid of it. You know, it works inside our body. When a disease comes into our body, it attacks it. It's different. It tries to kill it, eradicate it. Blah, blah, blah. And that's, you know, all fun and games. You know, it's like, oh, well, that's how you get better. That's how the system gets better, is it pushes out foreign, different objects. Hopefully, this will reach the right people, but... You know, I wish, I'm hoping that if this does get around to the right people, that it can put in some sort of idea around people's minds that you don't want to be different. You want to be defined. And defining yourself is perfectly fine. But don't claim that you're being different. Because if you want to honestly be different... Well, actually, if you're a neurotypical, you're not going to be different. No matter how much you try, you're never going to be different. You're never going to be a foreign object because there's a lot of things that you innately understand that people like me don't. We have to try. We have to work at it. And even with, like, heavy study, we're not good at it, you know, Things you don't even know you do anymore. You, you can't, they're so natural to you, are so foreign to us. And it's hard to even explain that. It's hard to explain difference because you are social creatures. You want to, you know, and when you find something that's different, people like us, you push us aside. You know, so... We're the ones trying to assimilate into your society.
And it doesn't matter if you put your hair in a mohawk and you, you know, use hair glue and get it up nine feet in the air. And you, you wear leather studs, but you've got the skinny jeans on, but they've got torn holes in them. And you smoke fancy cigarettes. You smoke cloves or something. And you wear the little, like, tiny hipster glasses and the beatnik glasses. It, it, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't matter. You know, you're still neurotypical. You're still normal. You're not different. You're normal. You're just defining yourself as a different color of normal. You're not different. You're just a different color of normal. Whereas you get, whereas neurotypicals have kind of this weird gray scale. And I say gray scale, but they have like a rainbow of things. And you want to define yourself as a certain color. Well, there's, last I checked, there's an infinite number of colors because there's an infinite number of combinations of adding the three primaries. And whatever your primaries happen to be, red, yellow, blue, cyan, magenta, yellow, green, black, whatever. Whatever you want to claim are the primary colors for ink or for paint or for light. That's a whole nother discussion. It's colors for you guys. For Asperger's, it's black and white. And we can't we can't figure out why you'd want so many colors. Because it creates a fighting amongst you guys. I know I, I sat back and watched in high school as a bunch, of, as my little social group of neurotypicals had infighting because they were they were each trying to define themselves and they thought, well, we need to be in a homogenous group, but they each wanted to define them, define themselves as something else, and so they'd fight constantly, you know. And I'm sitting back, kind of being the weird observer, going like, how do I? And I explained that in my coming out video. You know, how, why are they making fun of this guy because he's gay, but they love this other guy because he is gay? Why would you, you know, it didn't make logical sense to me. Why would you want to make fun of someone for one thing but like someone for another? You know, and I asked him, is there any other reasons? No, we don't know. So, you know, and like I said, with my late diagnosis, I'm not sure, you know, what could have been done differently if I had gotten diagnosed at 12, not 22, before high school versus after high school. And so that's, there's a difference, people, about defining your personality versus being different. And I still am different. I'm just doing a better job at blending. And it's tough. It's tough all the time to have to be the same as you guys because it like I said, it's just it's hard. There's so many things that I just my brain is not wired to understand. And whether or not they're superfluous knowledge to getting through life or some other crazy thing, they're, you know, I just don't get them. I, I have almost a monthly conversation about the same damn thing with the boyfriend. You know, why are people stupid? It happens all the time. Usually when my brain gets blocked because it's going through a mild or moderate little seizure part of my brain and I just don't get it. And I start wondering why people are stupid. And all he tells me is because they don't know not to be. And then I start one and I start reading into why people are stupid. Why are they voluntarily stupid? Why do they voluntarily you know, why are they voluntarily ignorant? Because the truth hurts. No, well, yeah. That's when you get your emotions in the way. Well, we're creatures of emotion. Nah. You don't need emotions that much. 
You really don't. Anyways, so yeah, that's what I'm talking about when I say defined versus different. Different is not something you want to be. Because when you're different, if you go back to the tribes, you know, hunter-gatherer stuff, if you're different, you get fed last. If you're different, you get to sleep outside. If you're different, you either are the bait or you're, you know, and you see that with bullies in grade school. They find something that's different, a nerd, someone smart, girls even, something that's different, and they shun it. They try to push it out of something it was never trying to get in in the first place. So, not that I'm expecting any sort of pity, but you can imagine being kind of a fruity kid, you know, later came out of the closet, a Star Trek nerd, and an Aspie. Those three things scream different. It doesn't matter. The girls were bullying me. The, you know, it's not that I was bullied constantly, but there were, it was not fun. I had, you know, I shifted school several times, several, couple, many, one through four, five, and then five and six, seven and eight. I went to five schools in 12, 13-ish years, so I'm not, that sounds like a lot, but I've heard people that, you know, change schools so much that they don't even, you know, understand that. But, yeah, that's that's my little story about what I think that teenagers need to get their heads on straight about. And people that are even older than teenagers that haven't quite figured that out yet. You know, there's a difference between being defined and different. You do not want to be different. It's my personal experience. Do not be different. Do not even claim you want to be different. So when you're different, you get left behind. Trust me. No one wants to be alone. No one. People claim it, but they just want to be special and weird and stuff. Like, no. You don't want to be weird. You don't want to be different. You don't want to be special. You want to blend in. Because, trust me, attention to an extent is nice. Excessive attention is bad. We've seen that with the celebrities. They want, you know, they get a lot of attention for making a really good movie, and then suddenly their entire life is under scrutiny. You know, they can't do anything in private anymore. Unless they seriously have a room with no windows. Even then, who knows? And I know it's not all celebrities, but yeah. I don't want to be special. You know, at least in society, you can be as different as you want in your own house, or to an extent on the internet, but when you're in society, don't, don't try to throw your individuality down someone, down the collective public's throat. You know, a bunch of bees outside the window, wasps, hornets, something like that. They're attacking that pine tree out there. Pine? I do not know my conifer trees. Wow. Detraction. I should probably eat something. Probably go have a pasta side or something. I got half an hour till the news. Um, I need to let my phone up glow these three videos anyway. So, I will let this one go. I'm going to watch it again while it's on YouTube. And I will re-tag it because I went through a lot of ideas and I'm probably going to have a thesaurus open for different things just because you never know who, who, what people are going to search for what. 